in our latest episode after seeing in the festive season and my birthday in style. We're back at the chateau taking on yet more demolition. We have our first visit from the chateau DIY film crew and John and I suit up to remove asbestos pipes from the basement. Hi, I'm Nick. Originally from England, I spent the vast majority of my life living and working in London. And I'm Nicole, originally from Sweden. I moved to London in 2011 where I met Nick. We fell in love and got married in the south of France in 2016. We took the bold decision to follow our dreams and bought an abandoned chateau in the Dordogne in 2021 and moved to France full time in the autumn of 2022. Our chateau adventures chart the highs and lows of our journey to renovate and restore this crumbling chateau. We'll be learning a whole new set of skills and testing our resilience along the way as we take on the renovation of a lifetime to breathe new life into this historic building while trying to balance all of that with the joys and challenges of parenthood and running our own well-being leadership business. So in our latest episode, we, we're kind of approaching so many different projects thanks to the fact that we have lots of extra pairs of hands um, in, this, in the what, what do yeah. we have. I have my parents and their friends. Exactly. So we had, well, four additional pair of hands on deck, which was great. Yeah. So we thought that we'd just show you physically where we were doing the works, which might help navigate the place. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah. And so we spent quite a lot of our time, always oh, not very good at this, in this bit here. So this is the grand entrance, or will become the grand entrance. We've got grand plans to have an arch <laughs> for the entrance uh, door there instead of the pretty little door that's there now. Um, what are we doing in there? Three things, I think. Yeah, so taking down a chimney, an old fireplace that wasn't that old. Yeah, well, we took down out the toilet, yeah. which Nicole was a little bit concerned about. Yes. We also took out, well, the floor. Uh, they, they'd put in cement floors uh, where the toilet was and the yeah. old bathroom was. Yeah, exactly. So we took those out as well um, in, in preparation for us wanting to put underfloor heating in, in due course. And not... just to cure, cure the floor because now there's just two gaping holes. Yeah, yeah, maybe we should have left the concrete in there a little bit longer, I don't know. Um, and then in the Grand Salon, which is just behind the entrance hall, uh, where we were working last time, and taking down the dividing wall, we were just finishing off taking some of the plaster off the wall. Um, and then in the far side of the chateau over here, in this room over here, you, my mum... Took down a dividing wall. Yeah, She was going out stairs. with a jackhammer. Yeah, I know. Watch the space. And then... And the sledgehammer. Yeah, yeah. And we had the Chateau DIY crew for the very first time. Yeah, which was super exciting for us. Added some pressure <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for time did. scales, but it was really great to have the crew here. So that was a new experience for us in yeah. the midst of trying to get things ready. And then the very last thing we did... We'll have to show you if, if you, you come with us. us. such a glorious day today 17 degrees at the end of jan that's why we moved here <laughs> and so yes the other piece of work we did was in here which is going to be our future kind of chaufferie uh, with all our kind of heating and plumbing and everything else but uh, we had a bit of a an issue with some asbestos pipes which needed removing and that had been made clear in the Report. In the report, the diagnostic that you get, although actually the diagnostic was wrong in the sense that they'd only identified one pipe, and in fact there were three pipes which were leading off the old septic um, tank, um, which were on the mains now. Again, another really good thing. But uh, So you and John got suited and booted, like spacemen? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, and I had quite a few sleepless nights just worrying about, are we doing the right thing? Should we get contractors in? The problem was the price tag on that was what? Same. Some euros. Yeah. I was just like... So what turned out to be, how long did it take you in the end? Yeah, like a few hours. Yeah. I and mean, then, that's incredible. And then it was 17 euros for us to deposit it at the local uh, déchetterie, the local um, waste disposal Pit. place. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, we, yeah, we took the precautions we needed. Um, and I guess, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll find out in about 30 years or 40 years' time if that was the wrong decision. But uh, Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I think you were well enough suited and booted. Yeah, I had a massive breathing apparatus on and everything else and again it was a pretty small exposure because we wrapped everything in plastic and anyway you'll see we'd spent christmas in sweden visiting nicole's family we stayed out um in their summer house in the middle of winter um with a roaring fire which kept us warm 
um, it was surrounded by a winter wonderland and it was just gorgeous being able to explore all the, the little paths that meander through the forest. Yeah, here we go, exhibit A. Nicole dropping all the hay. There's very little proof. <laughs> proof. For a good cause. <laughs> My point being is that they're going to find us. They're going to hunt us down. And we're going to be in big trouble. I'll deny all knowledge. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is, they're going to know that the hay thief was you. Benordi. Ciao, ciao. And then we're back to the UK for, for New Year and also for my birthday celebration. And one of the things we, we love to cook is uh, Dishun's chicken ruby curry. The link to the recipe, by the way, is in the description. Uh, it does take a little bit of time to make uh, allow at least kind of 24 to 48 hours it needs some marinating etc to, to be able to get all the flavors throughout but it is absolutely worth it happy And then we follow that up with fireworks. Our flat in, in London is based in Greenwich and the fireworks that year were literally um, taking place over the O2 um, with a massive drone show as well, which is pretty phenomenal. I felt quite, quite, felt quite spoiled. But finally, at the end of January, we were on our flight back off to the chateau where Nicole was greeted by our fairy friend yet again. And we were straight back in to the DIY. Um, one of the first tasks John, my stepdad and I had was to reopen the doorway between what will be our utility room and the kind of the heating hub of the house. We next set our sights on the chimney in the entrance hall, which wasn't really serving any purpose because it, it was no longer um, there's no longer a chimney out through the roof and it was just an odd angle and it kind of was in the way of what we would we had planned to have some some toilets there for communal purposes for guests and what well, and for us of course and so my stepdad and his friend Paul set to work on taking that down pretty much all the way from the just under the roof all the way down to, to the down, bottom of the first floor which is when uh, Nicole and I got stuck in and indeed um, can be seen on the DIY show <laughs> taking at least quite a, a chunk of, of, of the stone down ourselves uh, when it gets down to that, that level. And then we're back into the Grand Salon where Nicole and my mum were you know, taking, it, taking down the rest of the plaster on the staircase. And then at last it was time for a break and some coffee and then and then lunch, although not before Nicole made another pretty incredible discovery uh, on the lower part of the staircase oh, where job, she unearthed uh, an old chapel window. Um, we, we believe that 
part of the chateau. It's been extended over the years, but used to be uh, a monastery. Uh, or at least had its own chapel of some description, but certainly the, the room mill that exists within the villages that used to be a monastery before it was extended in, over, over the years. I just need to get loose. Oh no, no, I'm going to do this. Is that a good idea? It's a little bit of this. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a, something edging it. You can always push it through. Push it through out the other side. Really oh, is it stuck? Maybe oh, don't do that way. <laughs> do you want oh, there's a rock to the side. And the, uh, yeah. and the pick. I just don't want to damage anything. Maybe not on the stairs, because then we'll have a hole in the stairs. <laughs> that looks really like Chateau. It's Does gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, we need to keep this as a feature. And then John took it upon himself to try and remove the plaster. Well, he in fact, he did remove the plaster from the wall over the stairs, which, um, yeah, please don't try that at home. <laughs> His health and safety is a little bit lacking sometimes. And then we're off to Issy Jack to enjoy the most beautiful, beautiful meal at Latelier Restaurant um, with a gorgeous brioche bun pictured here which clearly gave my mum enough energy to then pick up a sledgehammer and, and get to work demolishing that dividing wall in the very westerly side of the chateau. <laughs> I can't believe at 75 she's still going that strong. Amazing. Like golfing. <laughs> That's amazing. And then yes, for all of those of you who were super keen <laughs> for us to, to build a shoot, um, You'll be, you'll be pleased to see that, that both uh, my stepdad and, and Paul uh, were on that. Uh, one of the first things they did was to build the chute so we could em empty the rubble from the chimney and the various other things we, de we were demolishing uh, into the skip. Only problem was that it wasn't directional in such, so every so often I'd need to go or someone would need to go down to kind of move the rubble around and, and make sure it was evenly spread. Our next task, and I mean, we were literally just getting through it, uh, thanks to having so many people on site, but um, was to take up the, the old bathroom and eventually the toilet floor as well, uh, which was cemented onto the beams. <laughs> Never seen that done before. Um, certainly not no builder that I know would recommend doing that, but yeah, they built basically built a, uh, a concrete slab formed into the supporting beams um, and it took a bit of a bit of effort for my stepdad and Paul to to really take that take that down um, especially because it's reinforced concrete as well as you probably would expect but they got there and we treated them to uh, a lovely lunch and again in easy jack but this time at the Bourse of Yeah. we then had the crew arrive for, from, from the Chateau DIY program for a few days and they were filming us doing lots of different things um, and obviously interviewing us and asking us about our dreams and aspirations of course we'll share some of those with you in in due course. One of the other things that we had whilst we while the crew whilst the crew were there which is quite cool to see we had an arborist who was literally um, dangling from trees to basically we we had a few um, badly, badly damaged trees from the storms, which uh, and some that had died completely, and, and so were actually dangerous to, to leave 
standing uh, and so they he 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 was there to take down the trees which could could not be salvaged and then with paul and helen our extra pair of hands gone john was helping me to remove the cement floor from where the toilet was <laughs> we don't have any footage from that because that was all filmed for the diy show but uh, you probably saw where it was previously and it is no longer there um, and we were trying to then dislodge the the uh, the pipe which was attached to the asbestos pipe so we're being a little bit careful with that and then another task we set ourselves was to uh, continue with the kind of deplastering de of walls although this was crappy which was uh, really, really intense in the uh, in the future dining room, and uh, my mum, Nicole, and I got to work with uh, well various different tools, including the jackhammer, <laughs> to yeah to remove the uh, really stubborn and strong kind of mortar from from those walls. But the end result was pretty stunning, which we're really, really happy with, uh, even if we did still need to sandblast it. And then another great discovery, my mum again with jackhammer in hand. <laughs> it's hard to prize offer in the end. But we're taking down the plaster in the entrance hall. And we discovered this uh, old archway. And it's so fascinating to, to see the old kind of traces of architecture of the changes in the building over the, over the decades and the centuries. And this is one of the things that we're, we're really keen to reinstate. We know that the doorways kind of to the left and to the right of that were put in much later. Um, indeed, recently found out that the door on the left was from the 1980s, we'll put it in the 1980s. And so we were really keen to kind of bring back some of the old. And so one of our future projects later down the line is to actually close up both of those doorways and reinstate an arched an archway through to the Grand Salon, uh, which will mirror the, the grand entrance archway, um, which will be two stories high, um, much more in, in, in keeping with a chateau. <laughs> but again, it was really our way of trying to bring, bring back some of the old that have been covered up over, over the years or over the centuries. And yeah, the final task that we had and we don't have huge amounts of footage from this because, of course, um, didn't want to be taking in uh, expensive cameras and things that we then need to throw away because essentially everything that we had on, we threw into plastic bags, but we had to deal with these asbestos pipes. And I did say I'd tell you how much the quote was. It's 10,000 euros. And it, it ended up being not even half a day's work. And so we <laughs> were very much of the opinion that we would do this ourselves um, I did a whole load of research looking at health and safety legislation, recommendations and what safety protocols to follow before even attempting this. That didn't mean I didn't get loads of sleepless nights in the build-up and to afterwards because, of course, you're constantly thinking, oh, have I breathed in the stuff? But actually, you know, it was a relatively straightforward task. The pipes um, were, were relatively easy to dislodge. Um, what, a couple we had to break in half, but in, in order to do that, we'd wrap them fully in plastic and we broke them um, whilst they were wrapped in plastic, so none of the debris got out. Um, and we'd also wetted it before that as well, so I mean, the chance of anything getting out was slim to none. Plus, we also then had all the protective gear on top as well. So, um... are you ready? 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 I think we did we, we, we did the the sensible thing uh, in our approach because I think the quote we had was just was just ridiculous um, and I'm not sure like who would ever want to pay that and I guess the other great thing is that there's the local dichetterie uh, in Bergerac have actually set up um, a specific space for collecting asbestos they give you all the, the bags that you need to wrap it into um, and so they they obviously expect that individuals will be doing this themselves um, which I guess is a better reassurance as well however um, you know I'm not recommending that anyone you know choose to take on the asbestos removal themselves 
of just explaining what we did and why um, in an effort to save some costs given the uh, astronomical sums we were, we'd been quoted. And that was it. We were, we were done. Um, until next time. And yeah, really, really pleased with all the progress we made. And slowly but surely getting to the stage where we can actually start to renovate as opposed to just demolish things down. I think that's one of the most surprising things that we found with the chateau. We were we kind of when we bought it, we thought, ah, oh, it's always it's pretty much a, a blank slate. We can pretty much start renovating straight away. But actually, uh, what became clear quite quickly was just how much work needed to be done in order for us to be able to uh, start the renovation process. One last thing, if you're enjoying this and you haven't done so already, I'd love you to either like or subscribe or both, um, as it actually really, really helps us um, in, in spreading the word about the work that we're doing and the channel that we've created. So a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. We really appreciate it. And uh, we hope that you continue enjoying our Chateau Adventures. Next time on the Chateau Adventures, I get up close and personal with the old septic tank. Josephine is back and gets her hands on a power washer. We start to unearth what lurks beneath the floor and I get acquainted with what swiftly becomes my nemesis.